Hi, in this video we'll be guiding you through how to set up an IOC driver on Mac. So for most cases this isn't needed, however some applications on Mac such as the MPC software for example or Logic's main stage won't automatically recognize Doubler as a MIDI instrument. And now this is something we're currently working on, but in the meantime you can use an IOC driver as a workaround for this. So what is an IOC driver? So an IOC driver allows you to create a virtual MIDI bus. And a virtual MIDI bus can then be used to send MIDI information between different applications within your computer. So to set up an IOC driver, you'll need to open Audio MIDI Setup Utility to do this. So I can do this with Spotlight. If I hit Command Space and start typing Audio MIDI Setup, it will pop up. And then here I'll want to navigate to Window and go to Show MIDI Studio. So in the MIDI Studio, here's where you'll be able to see the IOC driver in this red box. If for any reason you can't see it, you can go to this drop down menu here and select new configuration. And this will open a new configuration that will have your IAC driver in. So I can click on the IAC driver icon here to open up the properties. And here I want to make sure the device is online by clicking on the checkbox. You can also change the device name here. So I'm going to change it to Doubler IAC and this makes it a bit easier to identify in whatever software you're using. So I can hit apply and now that's all set up and ready to use. So I can close the audio MIDI setup here. And I'll also want to make sure to close Doubler so that it's uh, recognized any changes to the IC drivers. So I open up Doubler again. And now I can navigate to the audio device settings. Make sure that virtual MIDI is now set to off. And from your MIDI device drop down menu, you can select the IC driver that you've set up. And once that's done, it's now ready to connect in your MIDI input section with whatever software that you're using.